Donna Karen is one of America's most influential fashion designers. Thank you very much. Her namesake label's 30th anniversary marks a success story made right here in New York. At New York's Fall Fashion Week, unfamiliar faces grace the DKNY catwalk. Real women plucked from the Big Apple. A fitting tribute from famed designer Donna Karen, dubbed the queen of 7th Avenue. For 30 years, she's built her eponymous empire, creating looks for the modern woman, as well as red carpet royalty. Born in Queens, New York, fashion was in her blood. Her father a tailor, her mother a showroom model. She left Manhattan's prestigious Parsons School of Design to intern for sportswear pioneer Ann Klein. After her mentor's sudden death in 1974, Karen took the helm as the company's chief designer. She was just 25 years old. Ten years later, she launched her own signature line, Donna Karen, New York. Her seven easy pieces revolutionized a career woman's wardrobe, freeing them from those stiff power suits and puffy shoulder pads of the 80s. Today, with 200 stores worldwide, her brand includes menswear, cosmetics, fragrances, and her younger, less expensive line, DKNY. Three decades later, Karen still rules her empire for the city that never sleeps and fans around the globe. Donna Karen, so when you look at the past 30 years, when we saw you at the age of 25 and you sit here today, you think what? About I haven't all aged a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I that's still scary. feel like 25. That goes without saying. That Don't we with... all? Yes. <laughs> okay. You look the same, honey. No, but I'm just thinking, really, Donna, 30 years, and you had a, this fashion show, which you know created a little bit of talk about you, because they, you were shown getting very emotional, and then the rumor started that you were thinking about stepping down. That's not true. No. Could I, can you imagine me stepping down? I, I really no. can't. I really can't. <laughs> I'm too. I'm too energized. What got to you that day, though? Were you just? What happened? Mm -hmm. It was a tough. You, we were do, doing this amazing, amazing show, and I had this fantastic video from Stephen Seberg, and the lighting was wrong. You know what it's like. Yeah. You know, before a show, the lighting is wrong. The the girls weren't on time, and this was happening. Mm -hmm. It was just like, oh my God, how am I going to pull this one off? You know, and, and it meant did. so much to me. Yeah, because it really did. It was, it was an important show for me. And I love that you had real women on the catwalk. That was DKY. Yeah. So when I. You know, the thing that I love about having the two brands, DKY, Donna Karen, and Urban Zen, it really gives me an expression to be able to express so many different things that you want to say. Mm -hmm. So. You know, this may sound naive, but this really was my first time ever going to a fashion show in, in New York, and I went and saw Carolina Herrera. And I was surprised how different the models look than real life women. So it does make a difference to have, why did you make that decision? To put the real girls on the runway. Yeah. DKY for me is about the streets of New York. Mm -hmm. Donna Karen is kind of that intimate moment between a group of people who really, like yourselves, go 24-7, yes. nonstop. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and the DKY woman, she's about the streets of New York, mm -hmm. and there's an intimacy about Donna Karen. And mm -hmm. so the two worlds, it's like myself and my daughter. Mm -hmm. My daughter mm -hmm. <clears throat> was DKY, <laughs> and all her friends were stealing all my clothes. <laughs> So I decided there was a larger There's audience that I had, yeah. and I needed a pair of blue jeans. Yeah. So it was really selfish. But then DKY for me has always been about the streets of New York, and Donna Karen has been about this executive woman trying to carry the load of everything on her shoulders. And how does she dress from day to night? Mm -hmm. You know, from the minute mm -hmm. she gets up in the morning to the minute she goes to bed mm -hmm. at night. And it really is... It's a very and different. they're both working. Mm -hmm. They're both uh, working. I knew your husband, who was a great man, yeah. and, and you had a foundation you've created. And how hard has it been for you to keep that same energy and spirit and that made Donna Karen what it is? You know, it's so beautiful. Sometimes they say when they're gone, they're closer to you. We don't fight anymore, which is really great. He's a complete <laughs> inspiration to me. You know, the, uh, the studio at Urban Zen is Stephen's studio. The apple is sitting right there, you know, on the highway. And everything I do with the Urban Zen Integrative Therapist Program in healthcare is because of what I experienced with Stephen dying of lung cancer. And each and every one of us is a patient. Yeah, each and every one right. is a loved one. We're all going through it, so the healthcare system needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. You know, it, there's a missing person who is caring for the patient and the loved one, a la Urban Zen. Where do you find the calm and the chaos? Mm -hmm. You know, and I think we are about a community. You know, you just mentioned Haiti to me. 
Yeah. Yes. You know, why Haiti? Yeah. Because you know, you're very active in Haiti. Haiti? You're very involved. Yes. Haiti. Haiti. And yes. I, yeah. 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 Are you hopeful for Haiti? I think the opportunity in Haiti is the absolute model for the rest of the developing world. Mm -hmm. Because if people could just respect how magnificent these people are and how talented they are, you know, I go there in awe because of the talent of the people of Haiti. So I work with them. I work with the designers there. We create there. Uh, my daughter's opening a new restaurant downtown, and she said, Mommy, I got the greatest chandelier yeah, just from Haiti. So. Yeah, when you go there, you realize how wonderful those people are. Oh, well, you've yeah. been there. Yeah. And it's, it really gets into your blood. And I think it is something where I call it Harlem, Haiti. I mean, it's, yeah. it's this place where we can all come together, and there is a tool that it's not just money, mm -hmm. but supporting people and giving them jobs, mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. vocational education. And for me, whether it's Parsons School of Design, who Parsons has come down there with me, mm -hmm. you know, because we're starting a vocational program down there right now. So for me, the whole world of design and creativity, whether it's the streets of New York or the streets of Haiti or the streets of Bali, is an enormous inspiration to yeah. me as a designer. Great well, to have you. Donna Karen, three different lines. Bravo. 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 Continued Bravo. Love you success. Continued success. Yes. Thank you.